when we speak about something, we think mm -hmm. about that thing. Mm -hmm. When we think about that thing, we become that thing. Namaste creators, my name is Aditi and welcome to a new episode of Ask Master Anything. I am here with Master Shia Kashna, Namo Himalaya Master. Namo Himalaya. So today we have this question from Noel Swick and they ask, how do you actually ask for what you want? How do you talk to your guidance? Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so the universal language is energy. If we are to talk about uh, some people, they pray to this God, that God, uh, certain religions and different practices and different rituals. There is one thing that is a commonality. It doesn't matter what religion you believe in, what God you're praying to, is that uh, we are also communicating on a vibrational level. Mm -hmm. That is the easiest way if you want to align yourself uh, to be able to manifest the things you want. You want to be able to connect with the universe. You want to be able to speak to the universe. We need to understand, why is it that people say prayer, pray? When we speak about something, we think mm -hmm. about that thing. Mm -hmm. When we think about that thing, we become that thing. We become the vibrational frequency of it. If I ask you to uh, speak about a very happy memory of yours uh, and speak about it, you will naturally think of it. When you think of it, you'll naturally feel it. If I ask you to... Uh, tell me about and speak about your favorite food. You will start being able, the more I ask you about it, the more you speak on it, which is like praying on it, the more you will taste that taste and you'll smile and you'll feel, whoa, you really want to eat that food now, right? That desire, that emotion is strong. So in the same sense, what creates the vibrational frequency, speech helps. Speech creates a trigger. It's a starting point. The uh, problem is that sometimes when people are praying, they are praying, please, God, I don't want this anymore. Oh, okay. You see, this is why some people, they say, my prayer worked. Some people say, my prayer didn't work. Usually, what is the difference? They consciously or unconsciously, one is praying for, uh, uh, God, I don't want this anymore. And they are feeling all the vibrational frequencies of the hate or the frustration or the fear or the anger or the negativity yes, or the yes. lack. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the vibrational frequency has shifted into that. Therefore, universe is like, ah, that's your vibrational frequency. I read it now. That's what you're saying. Therefore, I will respond with the equal vibrational frequency that you're giving me. So that's why people say bad luck happens in threes, because then you continuously manifest bad luck or, bad luck. or negativity yeah. in your life. Yeah. So the best way to pray, uh, if doing any sort of prayer or doing any for sort of affirmation or incantation, is when we are praying, we start first, uh, start off with gratitude, what we're praying for. Show respect. We, we're grateful, God, universe, for life, for love, for breath, for organs, for hearts, for, for everything that we have, for body being able to move, for sunshine, for fresh air for whatever you have you are grateful for and you say as many as you can in that prayer and when you say as many as you can what happens is naturally when you're speaking about all these things that you're grateful for you become happier yeah. so your vibration starts to yeah. shift while your vibrations are positive you are tuned in you can almost visualize it like this you are tuned into the god of positivity or the energy of positivity, or the universe of positivity, re remembering that we live in a world of duality and there's negative and positive in existence. So when we are tuned in, now we are fine dining. That's almost like your, uh, if you needed to know what the phone number was for the universe or for God, that is the phone number. Gratitude is the phone number. Mm -hmm. ah, you go into gratitude, my, ah, dial up, now you're, now you're linked to that one. You see? You go into hate, you go into anger, that is the phone number for the uh, negative energies like that. Yeah. So the moment you, 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 you tap into that, the dial has formed, the connection has formed. Once the connection has formed, after the gratitude, your prayer will then move on to your intentions. What do I want for myself? Not what do you not want for yourself, what do you want for yourself? What do you want? 
I want this for me. I want this manifestation. I want this goal. I want this desire. Right? And then, uh, that's, so that's the second part of your communication, your prayer. Uh, what, what you want, right? Or your desires, what you want for the world, things like that. What, are you, what you want to happen, what, how you want to help people, whatever that thing is, you, your desires. Then the final part, the next part that shifts to from what you want is now to start moving because now you've gone into what you want. That's future pacing. That's saying that it's not happening yet. Therefore, you're not feeling it because you feel like you're lacking it when you say you mm -hmm. want something. Right. So the final stage is now whatever you said you wanted. Now to imagine yourself, become it. Imagine everything that you just asked for just before. You have it right now. Right? What does that feel like? Make sure the final thing is making yourself feel as if you've got it already. You're celebrating the moment. So you celebrate that moment. Oh, you're joyful. Oh, you're happy. Oh, you're surprised. Oh, you're, you feel amazing. You feel proud. Whatever you feel, feel it. Celebrate it. The more you celebrate it, the more emotions you feel. The more emotions you feel, the higher the vibrational frequency, the more that the universe will deliver faster for you. So that would be the protocol in prayer in speaking to the universe, in connecting with the universe, in connecting with God, in speaking to God for your manifestations to happen uh, smoothly and swiftly. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Master, for answering that because it has also cleared one of my doubt because whenever I used to pray before, and at moments I used to feel that I'm being very selfish because whenever I'm praying, I'm always asking for something. And then that is how I switched. I started with gratitude and like you said that then whatever you want, you ask for it. And then again, you're thanking Lord or Al Almighty or universe for that. So that has cleared my doubt. And now I know that I'm also doing something right. So thank you so much for that beautiful answer. And thank you all the viewers for watching. And if you have learned anything from this video or if you found this video helpful, do not forget to hit that like button. Also, do not forget to... Uh, subscribe to our channel so that whenever these amazing videos are going up you are always notified do not forget to hit the notification bell icon so you're always notified about these videos and if you'd like to ask anything from master go ahead and join our discord link is there in the description below and you will find the room ask master anything you can drop in your questions over there and we will pick up the questions and you never know. You can be the next one to hear your answer in our next Ask Master Anything. Until then, thank you so much for watching.